they're getting ready for a drone flight. Here I am in my car. Controller on the dashboard. Drone sitting right there on the ground. Hatch cumulus clouds everywhere. Bright sunlight is not a good light for shooting a drone map in the middle of the day if you don't want reflection glaring at the camera from the solar panels. But I'm watching the clouds and there's the sun and there's some clouds that are just moving right for it and it's only about quarter to 11 a.m. and the sun's going to be tracking right to the to the right of the screen here so looks like some big clouds are moving in and they're going to help out to shade it as soon as it's shady the the photography works way better the shadows just fade away completely we'll see just waiting for the cloud to move. All right, here's my control screen for the drone controller sitting on my dashboard. Perfectly poised so that the antennas can see the drone the whole time because I'm on the east side of the field. We're looking here at the GPS satellites at the upper right corner. Looks like a little satellite. It's it's changing between 16 and 17 satellites acquired. So that's pretty impressive. I didn't know that it could see that many GPS satellites. So that's part of the reason why it has pretty good accuracy. You can see the red arrow um, triangle. That's the drone. And the little trail of black dots it's leaving behind are the photos. This is real time, it's flying right now. Basically it's straight ahead, out in front of me up there. It's too small to see. But you can see the uh, time clicking down. There's 37 minutes. This is the first battery. There's the grid, it's flying. And uh, the drone battery is uh, 86 62% right now. So it'll come back and land when it gets down to about 25% battery left in the drone. And I've got five of them sitting here waiting. So last time I was here, when it wanted a battery change, I said, it said, do you want me to come back? and?" For a battery change and I clicked OK and it just stuck there in the sky way downwind and uh, kind of freaked me out uh, because of the controlled airspace it might have been getting confused but I've got it really cleaned now with the programming and I really don't think that's going to happen today and I have a return to home panic button on the controller, right there. If worst comes to worst, I just push that. Okay, it's right to my right now. It's almost over me. I'm parked right about there. And it's gonna, it's coming to the end of that track. It's gonna do a U-turn and go back. can hear it. There it goes. Okay, so you see the red triangle? That's the drone. I'm the purple dot, or close to it. It's right to where the drone took off from. Let's see if we can see it. turn okay 
it's doing its U-turn. And heading back down to the for the next row. Again, the drone's almost directly over me at that red arrow and I'm closer to that purple dot to the right of it and uh, what we're doing today is we're drone mapping this 10 acre solar site and we're going to document how much vegetation how much green is on the ground and also those trees you see off in the distance it's going to measure those the height and make a 3D map of exactly where they are in relation to the solar panels and how tall they are for shade analysis. We'll see how it works out. All right, we're just about to finish up our second battery and it looks like the drone has, if you see the little black box with the figures in it to the right, starts out distance flown 1.6 miles total so far there's the speed over the ground around four and a half miles an hour the altitude I set it to is 134 and it thinks it's flying at like 134 point something the next one is motion blur okay now it's asking me to return home so okay going home and land okay and now you can see the little red triangle that's the drone what's it waiting for here it comes okay see it's making a beeline straight towards that yellow dot next to the just past the purple dot that's where it took off from so it hauls ass 20 miles an hour. Well, something like that. It just stopped. And it's going to come straight down. So let's get out and watch it. Where are you? There it is. Fighting the wind a little bit. Okay. Okay, controller. I have changed the battery. Aircraft detected. Okay. It is a Phantom 4. Showing it parked. I'm gonna touch this aircraft icon. It says upload. Flight will resume at the abandoned point. Terrain avoidance, no. Uploading mission. Is the path clear? Yes. Okay. Movable home point, yes. Click the start button. There it goes. And it's off. It's gonna beeline back to the spot where it finished up. At like 
20 miles an hour probably first it's going to go up to altitude it's at altitude now it's rotating getting its bearings now it's going 10 15 20 miles an hour 22 24 miles an hour 26 miles an hour 27 miles an hour 28 miles an hour now speed adjustment yes so when it's taking pictures it wants control of the speed of course and uh, now it's, it's back on track it took a picture and it's heading on its grid if you look one of the um, data points here on the little black window is motion blur. It's been running about 0.2 inch or two tenths of an inch. So it's, it's traveling at 4.3 miles an hour and it's taking a picture about every second. You can see the images numbers like 860, 861, 862 so it's about every second and right now it's a motion blur at 0.6 inch I'm not sure why it's a little higher than I know it's a little breezier right now not sure if that has anything to do with it so now there's four minutes and 17 seconds left of this flight For some reason, it thinks there's two and a half minutes left of this flight. I guess that's right up until it touches down because it's just about done taking its last pictures. See that little red dot in front of the red triangle? That's the end of the flight. Okay. Mapping complete. I have to click OK. All right. OK, returning home. So it likes to freak you out and just beep at you and stand there for a second. And then it decides, OK, where are you? I'm going home. It's making it's coming straight back to us. Twenty one miles an hour right now. We're at that yellow dot that it's almost caught up to. Slowing down, it stopped and it's starting to descend straight down now. See that green square? That's the size of the view if it was to take a photograph right now. See it getting smaller as it gets closer to the ground. There it comes. It says it's at 10. It's about to show up. There it is. Mission finished. Okay.